Hello everybody, Vinus Storm here, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2. In the last episode, we defended ourselves against the Chaos Forces that were attacking us uh, from the Ritual. Uh, they were able to destroy the Serpent Coast, but we've reoccupied it. Um, and we've been able to basically fend off their armies, but we took some heavy losses. Now, we also have this Elvish, or High Elven, uh, intervention army that's knocked down Dawn's Light and Scrag Hole and is putting Tor Serpentar under threat. I am trying to get as many defensive forces into Tor Serpentar as I can, but I'm not sure how much we're going to be able to get there. It's going to be an interesting fight. So. I need to see how much I'm going to be able to move. Well, these guys are kind of stuck here. Can you guys, can you move at all? A little bit. Yep, I'm going to have to just start marching south and hope that I can get into this into the, the area fast enough. But, we'll see. Krokgar, we're getting him Scarred Veteran, I think. Firin Z, we need to get him Immortality. There we go. That hero is not going to move. Alright. We have something off the coast we can go after. The problem is, is that the, the, the destruction of the Serpent Coast has really impacted our economy because that was fairly well built up. But we'll, we'll deal with it. All right. Well, let's end the turn and let's see what happens. Well, it looks like that they didn't, weren't able to move far enough to actually attack the city. So, that is interesting. Followers of Chaos have been destroyed. Tor Serpentar, Serpentar is under siege. Ah, I see. Eliminate the Fallen Lord in battle, Ronin. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Thirteen turns until the siege is broken, or the siege succeeds. Uh, let me just see what this looks like as far as the battle goes. Iffy. Very iffy. Okay, well. These guys are just gonna have to recover on the road. Same with you. Uh, get that building. Wonder 
Yeah, we can finish building that while we're under siege. Okay. So, my back's up. Temple of the Old Ones is almost done. Or talk. Twin Blast, I guess. Alright, end the turn. Let's see how it goes. If they get to a point where they launch the assault, we're going to be in trouble. But I'm hoping that we can hold out for just a couple more turns. Ooh, they are attacking. Balance of power is much better. We're going to have to play this very, very carefully. But, we are in a walled settlement. So... That is going to give us an advantage. Do they have any flying units? They have Eagle Claw Bolt Throwers. And their Lord may be on a Dragon Mount. And they have a lot of archers. That's typical of high elves. Uh, I guess we'll gamble. Okay, start our deployment. Let's take a look. Yes, they have a dragon. Okay. gonna do this while well, unit is occupying the tower we'll fire on nearby enemies okay we need to make sure that as many of the towers get occupied as possible okay so let's just actually get everybody And we're going to get some reinforcements from there. Okay. All right, let's just, just get everybody down here for now. All right. We have two sets of Krogs at Gohors. Ranged units here and here. Uh, Feral Stegadon. We'll put you right there. Krogs Gores. 
you'll take position here. And these crocs, of course, will take position here. Sorry, Scar veteran. Skink priest of beasts. Get you over there. Alright, as far as Pterodon Riders, they're going to respond as needed. Alright, let's start the battle. Alright, all my towers are firing on the enemy. my reinforcements. There are my reinforcements. Okay. Let me just pause it here for just a second. Alright. Pterodon Riders. Uh, you guys get up here. Join up with the other Pterodon Riders. Um, we have Cavalry. Eager, encouraged by nearby unit. They're fresh. Cold ones, riders. Um, I'll have them come up here and just get ready. And then we have the Lord. You move up there. All right. Alright, uh, Pterodons. Engage those archers. Actually, uh, disable skirmish mode. You guys still have your your bombs, right? Yep, 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 yep. Hit him. All right, you still have your bombs. Oh, why is there a feral stegodon out here? Why is that feral stegodon out there? Alright, get out of there. You guys actually, let's hit 
Let's hit these guys. Those archers. All right, can we tell our riders to get out there and engage those archers? This is a bad idea. This is a really, really bad idea. It's the only idea I have. We can't just let these archers just sit back here and do damage. Alright, hold on. Pause. Krogs at Gores. So they've gotten through the wall. Alright, nobody's attacking here. Alright, so... All right, get him off the wall. Get there, Lord. Rocks of Gores. Oh, there's a unit right in front of them. Alright, Skink Priests, can we do anything with you guys? And we win! Oh, okay. It was a close victory. But it's a victory. I'm gonna tell them to kill and eat. Oh, you lost your dragon. We are still not in actually the greatest position at the moment. But that's a big, that is a big help. That is a big win. Alright, Sinus was killed in action. Um, let's, let's use you instead. That's fine. All 
All right, you. Gotcha, Muda. Get rid of this guy. Garun <laughs> Kani. Oh, I probably should just kill them. The High Elf intervention has been destroyed. All right, now. We need to get these settlements reoccupied. I'm gonna tell you guys to just merge your armies. And this guy can just get dismissed. Gibaja? No, 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 no. Um, the new guy we just got. You, actually, we're, we'll keep him around. Time being. Right. What you guys are probably going to want to do is switch to... Switch to encamp. Because we can now get Bastilladons with solar engines. There we are. Okay, we still need this one. I believe I was working on that. Beast Lair. Ziggurat of the Old Ones. Are we doing this right? Sacrificial altar of Sotek. For sure, we were doing the other one. Oh, here it is. I see. Okay. Should I cancel that construction? No, we'll keep going with it. We need to get those uh, Bastilladons with the revivification crystals. Gibaja. You are going to be get the indomitable. Get your leadership up. Uh new guy, root marcher. What we may actually want to do is move our two armies back into this area. Man, we need to get our untainted back up. Get rid of this. Cheaper to mortar in your production centers is showing its age. Repair crews have been dispatched. Disruptive and income from the building suffered. Shoddy. 
Workmanship, income from all buildings in all regions minus 10%. Ouch. That hurts. Right, you. March north. I want to take Dawn's Light in Uatec. You stay there because you're helping try to remove that uh, corruption. All right, next turn. The great rivers of Lustria, the energy will flow once more. Progress has been made, yet the final tranche of hidden knowledge lays locked behind a door. A key must be found. All right, we completed the ritual. The Nagaron is really slowed down. I wonder if something went wrong there. You know, we're causing me 264 upkeep. I don't really have it. I'm going to have to disband this guy. Don't want to, but I gotta. Especially with these new solar engines. I don't know if we're already paying for them yet or not. Let's see, this is gonna increase our income by 60. Go for it. Let's... Oh, we can't afford the skink favelas. Well, we absolutely need those skink favelas. So we're going to wait until we can do that. And we are not going to be able to occupy Dawn's Light. Not yet. So I'm just going to move our, our guy back into our territory. And then just tell him to... Camp for now. Roxycon. All right, Saurus Scar Veteran. Actually, I probably wanted to go with something else. That's all right. All right, and the turn. You get your income back up, and you get Krokgar's army built back up.
Chapter addiction successful. Complete the ritual. Public order plus four all provinces. We need to complete the last ritual. Oh, we were. Oh no, we need to get this. Right, right, okay. And we're still losing income. Uh, because we recruited those guys. Um. Bless Pterodon Riders, bless Pterodon Riders, Pterodon Riders. Is there anything I can do to increase my income? By more than 130. Income generated 108. It's gonna take two turns. Okay, um... I'm gonna go after these, see if they get me any, uh, any income here. Hero not moved. Don't really care. All right, and our turn again. We need to get the economy back working before we can do much else. <sighs> Maybe we should try and see if there's any trade agreements we can make. Get the mirror jungle plants. No piece minus 10% for Saras inf infantry and temple guards. We got 2500 treasury. Very, very good. Um, we're going to have you make for the golden tower for now. Risen Isle, the mist parts reveal an island uncharted by even the great map right. High spars of rock jut from the ocean like spikes in a trap, a trap that's ensnared some prey. A wrecked ship lies impaled on the small island's coastline. Its crew seem to have moved into the interior along with any valuables that may have been on board. Your ship wisely drops anchor far offshore before the crew make landfall. Certain materials at sea. The encryption cost by 30% for all buildings. All regions, income from all buildings for 10% for all regions for six turns. That's very, very nice. All right, we need to get back to the shore. All right, Serpent Coast, what can we do here? Stone Marker and Holy Ziggurat. Unassigned skill points. Refer and Z, okay. Honored Elder. Yep, grab him that. 
Research is available. What do we have? This resistance plus 10% for all Saurus and Temple Guard units. Armor plus 5 for Saurus units. Attack. Is there anything that reduces upkeep for skinks? What was this? Oh, there was something in here. Untainted plus one faction wide. Yes. Alright, so, we're at the end of this turn, we're also at the end of this episode, so, we will continue on when we get back, so I hope you guys enjoyed it, thanks for watching, go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.